Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 30th going to the 5th of September. I am looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too, but let's have a little look and see what's going on for you guys specifically uh, for this week. So I actually have quite a few cards that I want to be dealing for you. Um, so we've got a few oracle cards that are going to be coming out first before we talk about what's going on for you Sagittarius. So let's have a little look and see. Ooh, this is a really nice card to come out first. Sagittarius, we have a new beginning, a fresh start, which is really amazing. Let's see what else is coming up. Oh my God, okay, we'll go with these two. Oh, okay, so for those of you, if you have met anyone new, it does feel like there is like, uh, ease when it comes down to your love life by the way um so there is some changes coming up for you especially in terms of new beginnings here we go the first card coming out is generally the strongest so this is a very big new beginning coming up for your life now if this is not anything physically uh, and any changes that you are making in your external surroundings this is a lot to do with internal change uh sag you are reaching a new chapter of yourself the way that you view life the way that you're dealing with things is a lot different i feel like we're stepping into this po uh, positive energy there we go stuttering already <laughs> that to control yourself um very good positive energy now the initial p could mean something here um whether it's a location it could be oh look at this we also have forgiveness coming out as we say this so maybe there is someone from the past with the initial p um in their name or who it was from a place you know with a p anyways the initial p is strong with this we're forgiving and letting go of this era um, whether that means there is reconciliation or not i'm not quite sure but it definitely does mean that we are letting it go for once and for all what happened in the past stays in the past we're now able to move forward with love uh most importantly with an abundance of it uh, with this fresh new mindset and most importantly this card was actually hidden by the simplicity card so we are learning now how to be more simple in life and not hold on to things. And as a feather is here, it's very lightweight, you know, as light as a feather. So we are really removing a lot of baggage here, Sag, and we're leaving it in the past. Again, this can uh, mean reconciliation, but a lot of this is coming from a place of peace uh, and total maturity to move forward here. Um, but regardless of whether it is love or not, you do generally have love coming up for you within this week. So a lot of self-love, you're forgiving yourself for certain things that you may um, have done wrong in the past or the way that you've treated yourself in the past could also be coming up here. So there is total forgiveness. You might even benefit from being out. Uh, I actually love this scenery because it's just so nice having a view here, Sag, within this week and a night to yourself out in nature or with a friend, you know, with if you, especially if you and someone else is like letting something go at the same time, because you might have a, uh, someone here who is, you're very close to that's going through something similar. You're able to really just talk this out to let this go together and to start this new uh, beginning it kind of feels like a not an overnight thing but it definitely feels as though in one night where you might just have a different what's the word for it? a different narrative over your past and this way you're looking at it more positively and you're deciding not to let the heaviness get to you anymore this is when this new beginning seems to start so a very big turning point coming up for you here Sagittarius that is going to be very beneficial to you oh literally this fell out somewhere along here I'm going to show it to you I'm not going to take it but I want to show you these amazing cards coming in so we have soulmates so again love could definitely be coming in or you and a friend could definitely be going the distance here with the going the distance card uh, and taking things further Time Time for an app does say that we are reaching a goal here. If things have been quite stagnant for you. Then I do see some lucky opportunity coming away out of the blue. And it is going to cause you to come uh, into this uh, soulmate connection here. And especially in terms of career, it looks really good. But let's see some cards that actually do come up for you here, Sagittarius, and not just jump out. I think Spirit's just excited to tell you some good news is on its way. Okay, let's just get two cards for here. For these ones, please, Spirit. Uh, this has been coming up for everyone, the orphan card. So definitely is a lot of baggage, Sag, that you're having to let go of. And this is coming from uh, neglect. 
Uh, generally, when this comes up in relationships or anything like that, it can feel like a family thing, you know, where we have been, you know, left in the dark by people, we have felt abandoned by people. Um, if you do struggle with abandonment issues and feeling as though people are always going to leave you and, you know, with this card, it generally does come true. This is a mindset thing. What you'll start to understand here, Sagittarius, is when you are dwelling, uh, this reminds me of Five of Pentacles, sorry, not Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. When we're dwelling so much on the bad, all we can ever focus on is the bad. And it does, I don't want to say manifest, uh, but it does seem to work out that way uh, rather than looking at the positive and gaining positive, you know, it's kind of <laughs> like attracts like, right? So if we're negative, we're going to start uh, bringing in that kind of frequency and people on that frequency and situations on that frequency of negativity and bitchiness or gossiping or again people who aren't uh, genuine and despite the fact that you are and have been genuine here this kind of low frequency is the thing that's been causing other people to uh, feel as though they can walk all over you or upset your boundaries and stuff like this so now that you're changing this orphaned energy there is forgiveness here you are moving away from anything that has kept your head hanging low um, I feel as though this is where the new beginning is starting I do see a massive change in uh in how you're viewing things Sagittarius and it really is changing everything around you you have a message in a bottle so I do think that we are getting some very good news so just when you felt as though things were going so 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 bad especially if you are still in this energy you know things are just falling apart the message in a bottle is someone or something that is coming away that is almost going to lift you back up again this is something that is going to be very good news this is something that the universe is giving to you right at the right time when you really needed it the most and this can likely be something you've asked for by the way here it does generally feel as though this is something that you've asked for just because it's coming when you needed it the most and you've asked for it yeah it definitely feels like that okay you have two fives here so there definitely is changes coming in you also have a number one so a lot of changes to do with yourself and it's bringing in some really good manifestations because of this release that you guys are going through uh, within this week okay let me pull you out a few of these cards uh, to see what's going on for you in the tarot I love this simplicity card though, because it is really about taking, you know, not letting things spiral out of control. We're really just allowing things to just fall. Now you might see feathers along this week and I will say that this would be spirit communicating with you uh, and telling you that something is coming very close, okay? Yeah, Six of Swords. This is about you going to someplace better. This can definitely be travel coming up for you here, Sagittarius, or any form of movement, moving home, moving jobs. Uh, this is saying whatever you're leaving behind did bring a lot of chaos, yes. However, we don't need to think about that right now. All we need to think about is where we're going next. Um, so I think we're making the right decision to leave a situation behind. Again, if this isn't physically, then this is definitely spiritually as well, where you're making a move. And because of this, you are discovering, I love this actually, actually because normally in a six of swords it's a boat uh and i have to i love this because it's almost like this is coming in now that you're in the move it's now able to you've decided that enough is enough and that you're going to change the way that things are going on around you and because of this things are becoming better okay you're moving to something better now it is just a six of swords so as much as it is movement it isn't the final destination which means here that um things aren't going to be exactly perfect and i'm not going to pretend that it is either but the great thing about it is is that we're on the move and that is positive enough but moving forward when you finally reach the destination the land then you can be very very um ecstatic and over the moon but i think that even with just this considering what you've been through in the past Saj, um this is something to be happy about regardless you know don't wait until you're at the destination to be happy about something because this is saying that you've made the right choices uh and now moving forward you are going to get what it is that you've wanted and i do see good news coming in as well so it is a good week it's a lot about letting go of the baggage though i will say this seems like the key theme for you here especially internal things that you've been telling yourself you're changing the narrative here anything else for sagittarius for the week yeah definitely movement coming in for you definitely could be travel or in need of a holiday coming in and i would treat yourself if this is uh you and now three of wands again is that waiting game it's you know you've done the work now you're waiting for the results to come through so again this can mean that there is a little bit of delays in terms of uh the results coming in however uh, the good thing is that you know that you've done the right thing. 
okay? So again, don't hang up too much on the destination and the final result. I think you should be very proud um, and make the most out of your current situation and, and learn to be quite present here within this week. Anything else? The Empress. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. I'm super glad this is coming up for you. Now, one thing I will say, we are treating ourselves a lot better here. Uh, when we're in the Empress mode, it is really about receiving. And I think you've done everything that you need to do within this week. Uh, and I think this is now the perfect time to sit back, relax. And as I'm doing that there, I feel as though you just need to take a deep breath in and a deep breath back out again and just look around you because it may not be again where you want to be but it definitely is moving you closer to that goal and uh, the empress is not afraid because she knows that the universe is also on her side so this is the perfect time to step into this energy it's venusian energy so it wouldn't surprise me if you guys are splashing out on yourself within this week pampering yourself here uh, and treating yourself to something amazing um again just be careful venusian energy can be very easy to overindulge so be aware of that okay but i definitely feel as though we are in need of a holiday in need of some sunshine in need of maybe even you know you're eating healthier i definitely feel like we need to your body is a temple they're saying here we need to look after ourselves a lot more and stepping into this empress energy nurturing kindness you know is really going to help you out because maybe in the past you had a lot of toxic masculinity coming through here that put you down made you feel weak now you're finding your power slowly but surely sagittarius but progress is better than none and 11 11 as i said that now your intuition is definitely going to be buzzing and kicking around this time so pay attention to any red flags or any um is there any opposite of red flag let's say green flags because you know we can focus on things that seem good as well as focus on things or uh Keep an eye on things that are red flags, but I feel like keep an eye on good things as well uh, around this time because you have clear vision within this week of where you're going to start to see it. Now, this is happening because we are removing baggage here and you are, I love this actually. So I love this because this is beautiful energy, really stepping into that divine feminine. Regardless of gender, this is really good because it's allowing you to connect with the universe, but also uh, allowing yourself to pamper yourself, to understand and to trust and to receive from the universe as well. And I will say this does look like a really good manifestation. Um, combination here coming through for you you are looking great the things that you're doing within yourself look amazing you're just waiting for your external surroundings to kind of match up to that and it is it's on its way to it yes it may take a few more weeks and it may take a month maybe even to get where it is that you want to go for some of you maybe even longer if i'm going to be honest with you however the fact that you're already moving towards this place is a sign, okay? Don't start going into negative thinking because what it is gonna do is delay this process. What you wanna keep doing is keep moving forward and trusting and knowing that because you put the work in, you are going to get the results out, which is a fact, okay? Because you're in a very good position with these two cards coming through here, very much divine feminine. Anything else for Sagittarius within this week? So this is where this new beginning is. I like it. It feels like definitely coming outside the comfort zone, but I don't think that's exactly the priority here. I feel like spirit is just very much happy and content uh, and very proud actually that you are making these changes within yourself, believing in yourself a lot more, having a lot more self-worth with this Empress card uh, because you can love deeply, Sag, and you are literally a blessing, whether it's in relationships, friendships, and family. You know, this is definitely uh, an amazing nurturing kind uh, person coming through which is likely to be you um, so it's about time that people treated you that way and how do we get people to treat us that way by being the empress then you place those boundaries then you align yourself to the circumstances and situations that you deserve because if anyone comes in and tries to treat you like crap instead of bowing down from the empress position and worrying and complaining and going no one's respecting my boundaries instead you're actually going do you know what actually oh my god <laughs> the, the deck just split just then instead of just doing that and seeing it as a victim mindset not that you guys are doing that but you know we are all guilty of things from uh, now and again we forget our power instead you're actually putting your hand up and going actually i don't think you can speak to me that way and i don't appreciate it and you're not gonna do that again <laughs> and uh, then people are now like okay sagittarius whether they move away from you and like i'll oh, screw you then that's their issue by the way you, you know uh, it's a good thing they're walking out your life but other people will be like oh okay that's fine and they will deal with it 
You have the Four of Wands coming in, so this is really good in terms of celebrations. Again, I feel like this is that message coming in. So some of you are getting a, a letter, an email, something of confirmation that you're being accepted for something. Uh, this can definitely be, again, people wanting to uh, take you out. This could definitely be a relationship coming through here. But for the majority of you, what I will say is it doesn't so much feel like love, but it does feel like stability. And that could be something that you've been praying for, and it does feel like it's coming up here. If this is in terms of businesses, then this looks great as well. Stepping into that empress energy of allowing yourself to rest and relax does look really good um, because intuitively you know to trust and this is bringing in the stability and good news and reward and i feel like we're celebrating here now you do the lovers here so some of you will be a relationship or a soulmate or you and another person who's building something together but regardless it looks amazing uh overall okay i'm just gonna pull one more card from this deck there we go i love this i love the fact that this has come out because it's exactly what we said in the beginning. You're removing baggage, yay! Things have been weighing up, oh my goodness, the last month for you guys, or even longer than that, you know, things have really kind of, I feel like I wanna, I feel like it's stacking up here, you know. There's so much responsibility that you've had on your back, so many issues, so many problems here that you've been having to carry with you. Now you're able within this week to let it all go, all right? And whether it's through like a pageant session, which is, you know, crying it out, letting it all go, writing it down, what you wanna let go of now as well, and really finally forgiving yourself. Um, this is your subconscious mind as well, is what I wanna say. Intuitively, I feel like we're kind of reaching now that subconscious. So as much as you've been working on yourself for this long, this really feels like you're actually hitting a part of your brain that's really going to listen now so this is good and now that you're releasing this now that you're letting go there's a lot of uh, lifting of the burdens here there is st that stability coming in which i love um i'm gonna pull you out a card from this deck here the work your light oracle any last messages for sag We have the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. We love this, okay? Um, we, we do love this because it feels like this is like karmic cycles that you guys are ridding of. Um, and it does feel as though you may have lived this life before and may not have been as successful of releasing everything. Um, but this is a life, yeah, you are gonna get what it is that you're wanting here. Now, I want you guys to ask yourself a question, uh, whether it's, you know, whether you want something or regardless, a yes or no question, because I do see something here and I feel called towards saying this to you. So when you thought of a question, you can pause and think about it and then play. Uh, because here we have an answer card and I wanna turn this around for you because the answer to whatever it is, is a yes, okay? It is a yes, all right? So Sagittarius, I love you guys. I wish you all the best within this week. This is more of a releasing week, uh, not so much a, you're gonna get everything that you want. No, what you will do, <laughs> I definitely feel like you will. However, this is about you moving towards that new chapter, okay? Uh, you're not quite there just yet, but you are on your journey there, and that's something to celebrate, and please celebrate it for me, okay? I love you guys, I wish you all the best, and I will see you guys next week.